James Gosling promised us when he was announcing Java that we can write once and run everywhere. But in my humble opinion, only Docker and containers with package once run everywhere did actually fulfill this promise. Hi, I'm Victor Gamov, developer advocate with Con, and today, well, I do have Kong in container, which means that in this video, I will show you how you can run Kong API gateway locally using Docker. Let's get to it. Docker seems to be the perfect choice for distributing software. And Docker Compose allows us to configure collection of those containers so we can run and test very complex setups locally. In this tutorial, you will learn how we can use Kong in database-less mode with declarative configuration and also how you can configure Kong to persist configuration in database. I will use Kong with Postgres, however, Cassandra also support it. I will simplify configuration for my own demo to quickly explain the basics and the constant. Though you can always find the production ready and officially supported Docker Compose file in the description below. Let's take a look on my Docker Compose. First thing that I will show you is Docker Compose that runs in so-called DB-less or database-less mode. In this mode, I need just one thing. In my Docker Compose, I have one service called Kong. And this service will be configured using image with Kong 2.5. I will be using Kong as my host name and container name. And I will configure a couple things for this demo. First thing is that there is environment variable that I need to pass says Kong underscore database. In this case, I will set this off in order to not use any database. In order to see some logs in my console, in case of errors, in, in case of some of the output that Kong does, I need to specify where Kong needs to route those. Next thing that I need to specify which port admin listener will be using. So in this case, port 8001 and 8444. Those ports will be used to access admin API. When we're starting Kong in the database list mode, in this case, I need to specify a declarative configuration file with some of the bootstrap configuration. So let's take a look of my bootstrap configure that will be mount from my file system inside this container using this particular volume. My directory called config. In this case, it will be using Kong YAML to mount this. In this case, it is like very, very basic and very minimum configuration that Kong will use. So in this case, I will use in format uh, 2.1 and uh, enable transformation directive. In case of you want to store some of the passwords inside this configuration file, uh, when it will be applied inside the Kong, it will obfuscate and hash some of the configuration. So you don't need to do this. So I will go ahead and start this debilis mode and I'll just do docker compose up. I will using console so you will see what is going on in my console. Now, the declarative configuration was picked up from this file and uh, I can use Insomnia to explore some of the endpoints that are available. So I will be using Insomnia to explore some of the configuration. So in this case, I want to see if there are any services configured. There are no services configured. Let's see what information admin API will use. So let's take a look what do we have in configuration. So in this case, we see different cool things that we can see, what kind of uh, certificates are used, cluster listeners, and let's see if it uses some database. It doesn't use database in this case. It is cool. So how we can configure this and how we can use this? In order to use this, I will using my service that you probably know from my previous demos, quote service. I will run my service within the same Docker network. So my service data will be exposed using Kong gateway. I add extra service. In this case, I will be using same image that is available already. Host name is quotes and container name quotes as well. So let me kill this one. Docker compose kill. Stop everything and after that Docker compose it will start Kong and it will start my service. Test if the service is 
accepted any connections, I can do here a new request and just a test, get request, and I'll just do localhost 8080. If I will send this, nothing is happening because in my configuration, I am not exposing any ports. So let's configure Kong to expose this. So one of the things that when we started this, we didn't put any configuration here. However, we can also apply this configuration on already running Kong instance. So in this case, I will just do this configuration of the service. In this particular case, name is quote service, URL is quotes 8080. So in this case, it is address of my service because host name is quotes and port is 8080. That's port that my native runs inside Docker network. Next, I also will configure a route. So if I will hit Kong with this root route, I will get the access to my quote service. So how I can uh, submit this file? In my Insomnia, I can send this file to config endpoint. And after that, it needs to be set as a YAML. So when I send this, now I see the response that my service was created and I can start doing things. So in this case, I do have this service, hits this quote service on the host quotes and for a particular route. So let me invoke the service and see if it actually works. And as you can see, it is my famous back to future service and it works and exposed through Kong Gateway. Next up is configuring Docker together with Postgres. In this setup, we'll be using three containers. One container we'll use, or one service in terms of Docker Compose. We will be using Postgres database. We will create the Postgres with username Kong, with a database where Kong will store configuration named Kong, and we'll be using password also Kong. This service will be exposed to outside world through the 5432 port. So in this case, I can go and connect my database client so we can take a look what is going on in this database. Next thing that we need to have this service, that would be one off, uh, meaning that it will be running once to create a particular database schema. It's called uh, migration and bootstrap. It allows to create the schema and populate the schema with the appropriate data. So the configuration of this Kong will be stored in database. And the third thing, this is our actual thingy. As you can see here, if we're using also Kong image, but in this case, we're not exposing anything. It just exists to bootstrap my application here. And here, configuration-wise, it's very similar to previous example. However, we, for database configuration, we said it use Postgres. We need to specify host where this database is available. We need to specify username and password. Same thing with the access of, of logs and etc. And uh, we need to expose some of the ports to outside world. So I will go ahead and submit this. In the background, we'll start database. It will bootstrap my database with the Kong schema. And after that, we can uh, start using this. Let's connect. So we can connect to my Postgres and see what is going on inside this database. So let me click refresh. And what I see, there is a bunch of tables here. One of the tables will have name called services. And as you can see here, there is nothing here. We can test if there is anything. One services, and we see it's empty. There's no services configured yet, and there's no routes. Routes are also empty. So how you can configure? You can configure this through admin API and actually submit configurations. We're gonna be using same example. We're gonna be using our quote service as well. So in my Docker Compose, if I'm going here, I also adding my service and uh, docker compose up let's see now my quote service should be available as well i can check this if i go and check a log view so application is up and running so now i can submit 
the service configuration. I go to Insomnia and I create a service. I need to submit JSON that will include name of the service and URL. I click send and also I need to configure route. I need to specify where which service will uh, get this route. In this case, I go into services slash quote service. My application will be available through the slash path and uh, some of the additional configuration. Now, if I go in invoke service, I should start getting back to future quotes. And we can go and see the logs and uh, we see that Insomnia is successfully hitting our Kong controller. So that would be it for today. To recap, in this video, you learned how we can run Kong in the database less mode in Docker using declarative configuration. And uh, you can set up services, you can set up routes, and even you can enable all the plugins that uh, Kong is available. Also, you learn how you can save Kong configuration in a database like a Postgres. If you found this video helpful, can you do me a favor? Hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. We working on the new tutorials and many new tutorials already in works. As for now, my name is Viktor Gamov and as always, have a nice day. I will hide this somewhere in the jungle. Yeah, like this.